In the vibrant world of Minecraft, a young adventurer named Asher was exploring the vast pixelated wilderness, a world brimming with possibilities where every block held a story and every creature a friend or foe. With a trail of footprints behind him and a heart full of courage, Asher ventured through forests of towering trees across vast plains and over majestic mountains. His trusty pickaxe swung rhythmically as he mined for resources, and his keen eyes scanned the horizon for any signs of danger. He encountered friendly creatures like the bouncy sheep and clucking chickens, but also had to dodge the explosive creepers and the eerie endermen. No matter the challenge, Asher was always ready, for he knew that in this world, every day was an adventure. One evening as the square-shaped sun began to set, painting the sky with hues of orange and purple, Asher made camp by a tranquil lake. He built a cozy shelter, cooked a delicious feast of pixelated pork chops, and settled down for the night. The sounds of the wilderness lulled him into a peaceful slumber as he dreamt of his next day's adventures. But this night was different, a rustle, a soft footfall in the grass and Asher was jolted awake. Peering into the darkness he saw a silhouette approaching his camp. A stranger, lost and bewildered, had stumbled upon Asher's campsite, a villager far away from home, with a look of desperation and fear in his eyes. Asher, although surprised, greeted the stranger warmly. He remembered the times he had been lost and afraid, and how kindness from others had helped him find his way. He knew it was his turn to extend the same kindness to this unexpected visitor. After all, in the world of Minecraft, one never knew when they might need a helping hand. Who could this stranger be? and what could they possibly want from Asher? The stranger was a villager who had lost his way home and he was asking Asher for help. This was not an everyday occurrence in the blocky world of Minecraft that Asher knew so well. The villager, with his distinctive unibrow and large nose, had a look of desperation in his eyes. His story unfolded like a ball of yarn tumbling down a hill, fast and uncontrollable. He had set off from his village to find emeralds in the nearby mountains, a journey he had made countless times before. But this time, he got caught in a sudden storm and took shelter in a cave. When the storm passed and he tried to return, he found that his once familiar landmarks had been erased by the downpour. In his panic, he ran in every direction hoping to stumble upon something familiar, but all he found was more wilderness. In the end, he had no choice but to ask for help. His eyes, brimming with hope, were now fixed on Asher. He pleaded, Asher, can you help me find my way back home? My family must be worried sick. Asher, who had been listening quietly, was taken aback. He had always been a lone adventurer, preferring the solitude of his own company to the bustling noise of the villages. He was not used to being asked for help. He felt a twinge of anxiety. Should he step out of his comfort zone and help the villager? Or should he decline and continue on his solitary path? He looked at the villager, his eyes filled with hope and desperation. He thought about the villager's family waiting anxiously for their loved one to return. He thought about the villagers' courage in admitting he was lost and asking for help. Would Asher turn his back on the villager or would he lend a helping hand? This was a question that Asher needed to answer not just for the villager, but for himself as well. Would he choose the path of kindness and helpfulness or would he choose the path of solitude and self-centeredness? Only time would tell. With a kind heart, Asher decided to help the lost villager find his way home. As the sun rose, painting the sky with hues of pink and orange, Asher and his new friend embarked on their journey. The world of Minecraft, though beautifully blocky, was no less challenging. There were forests to navigate, rivers to cross and mountains to climb, but Asher, armed with his knowledge of the game and his trusty pickaxe, was ready to face them all. The first obstacle they encountered was a dense forest. The trees towered high, their leafy canopies blocking the sun, but Asher, with his quick thinking, crafted a compass to guide them. The villager, though initially scared, followed Asher's lead, trusting in his kindness and wisdom. They worked together to navigate the forest, helping each other avoid the holes and pitfalls that littered their path. Next came a wide river, its current swift and dangerous, but kindness, like a bridge, can span even the widest of rivers. Asher and the villager built a boat together, using the wood they had collected from the forest. They paddled across the river, their teamwork making the task seem easy. The final challenge was a towering mountain. It stood tall, its peak hidden among the clouds. Climbing it seemed impossible, but Asher and the villager didn't lose hope. They crafted ladders, using the leftover wood from their boat. Bit by bit, step by step, they ascended the mountain. 
they encouraged each other, their words of support echoing off the mountain walls. Each challenge they faced, they overcame, not because they were strong or skilled, but because they were kind and helpful. They worked together, their actions guided by empathy and understanding. They didn't leave each other behind or let the other struggle alone, instead they faced the challenges together, their bond of friendship strengthening with each step. Their journey was tough but, Asher and the villager were tougher. And as they stood on the mountain peak, looking at the path they had traversed, they knew they could face any challenge that came their way. Because kindness, they realized, was the greatest tool of all. On their journey, Asher and the villager encountered a hostile group of mobs. Now these mobs weren't your everyday garden variety mobs. They were rough, tough, and had an attitude that could scare away even the bravest of adventurers. But Asher? Well, Asher wasn't just any adventurer. He had something more powerful than any sword or shield. Kindness. As the mobs advanced, Asher didn't raise a weapon, he raised a smile. With a friendly wave he greeted the mobs, showing them he meant no harm. The mobs, taken aback by this unusual approach, paused. They were used to confrontation, not kindness. This was new, this was different. Asher didn't stop at just a friendly wave. He shared his food with them, offered them warmth from his campfire, and shared stories of his adventures. The mobs, used to fighting for survival, were touched by Asher's kindness. They saw that not all adventurers were out to harm them. Some, like Asher, were kind and helpful. One by one, the mobs put down their weapons. They listened to Asher's stories, enjoyed the warmth of the fire, and savored the food. An unexpected friendship was forming. Asher's kindness was changing their attitude. They saw that kindness wasn't a weakness but a strength, a power that could transform foes into friends. So, when Asher and the villager needed help to continue their journey, the mobs didn't hesitate. They lent a hand, helped them navigate tricky paths, and even defended them from other hostile mobs. Asher's kindness had not just changed the mob's attitude, it had turned them into allies. Kindness, my friends, isn't just about being nice. It's about showing understanding, respect, and care towards others, even when they seem different or scary. It's about reaching out, breaking down barriers, and building bridges of friendship. And as Asher showed us, kindness has the power to turn even the toughest of mobs into the truest of friends. Asher's kindness had turned foes into friends. After many days and nights, Asher and the villager finally reached the villager's home. The relief in the villager's eyes was visible as the familiar blocks of his hometown came into view. The villagers had been worried, their friend missing for so long. As Asher and the villager walked into the heart of the village, the villagers gathered around, their pixelated faces glowing with joy and relief. Imagine the joy you'd feel seeing a friend safe after a long time. That's exactly what the villagers were feeling. Their friend, lost and alone, was now back safe and sound, all thanks to Asher. The villagers' gratitude towards Asher was overwhelming, they thanked him profusely for his kindness, for his courage, and for his helpfulness. As Asher looked around, he saw the happiness he had brought to this village. The smiles on the villagers' faces, the laughter filling the air, it all made his heart swell with joy. He realized then the true power of kindness. It wasn't just about helping someone, it was about making a positive difference in someone's life, about creating a ripple of kindness that could spread far and wide. Asher had brought a lost friend home and in doing so, he had brought happiness to an entire village. He had made a difference. And that's what kindness is all about. It's about making a difference no matter how big or small. As Asher stood there surrounded by the grateful villagers, he felt a sense of fulfillment. He understood that being kind and helpful was not just a choice but a way of life. He realized that every act of kindness no matter how small, could have a big impact. And that's a lesson we can all learn from Asher's adventure. So, remember, just like Asher, we all have the power to make a difference. We all have the power to spread kindness. And when we do, we not only make others happy, but we also find happiness ourselves. Asher had learned that kindness truly was a gift that kept on giving. With a heart full of joy and a mind full of lessons, Asher began his journey back home. As he left the village, the once unfamiliar path now felt like a friend. Asher's journey was no longer about reaching a destination. It was a journey of reflection, of understanding, of the lessons he had learned. He pondered on the many encounters he had, the villagers he had helped, the friendships he had formed. Each interaction, a testament to the power of kindness and helpfulness. It was true kindness was not just about being nice, 
It was about recognizing the needs of others and choosing to respond. He remembered the villager who was lost and scared. Asher didn't just offer words of comfort, he offered his time and effort to help. He thought about the villager who was struggling to gather resources. Asher didn't just sympathize, he rolled up his sleeves and lent a hand. These acts of kindness, they were not grand gestures, they were simple acts, born out of empathy and compassion. And yet, they had the power to create a profound impact, to transform someone's day, or even someone's life. As he journeyed back, Asher realized the true essence of his adventure. It was not about the challenges he faced, or the obstacles he overcame. It was about the kindness he shared, the help he offered, the positive change he was able to bring about. He thought about the joy he felt each time he was able to help. The sense of fulfillment, the sense of purpose. It was a feeling he wanted to hold on to, a feeling he wanted to share. As the familiar sights of home came into view, Asher knew that his adventure had come to an end. But the lessons he had learned, they were just beginning to take root. He understood now that every journey, every adventure was an opportunity to learn, to grow, to share kindness. Asher knew he would always remember this adventure and the powerful lessons it taught him. As Asher returned to his own village, he was greeted with joy and curiosity. The villagers had missed Asher and were eager to hear all about his grand adventure. With a wide grin and a sparkle in his eyes, Asher began to recount the tale of his journey. He described the unexpected visitor who had appeared at his door, the plea for help that had stirred his heart, and the journey he had embarked on. He spoke of the challenges he faced, the obstacles he overcame, and the power of kindness that had helped him along the way. His fellow villagers listened in awe as Asher painted a vivid picture of his adventures. They marveled at his bravery, his resilience, and his unwavering spirit. But what struck them the most was the kindness and helpfulness that Asher had shown to others, even in the face of danger. Asher spoke of how he had learned to extend a helping hand to those in need, to lend an ear to those in distress, and to share a smile with those who needed it the most. He emphasized the importance of being kind and helpful to others, not because it's easy or convenient, but because it's the right thing to do. The villagers were deeply moved by Asher's story. They saw him in a new light, not just as a fellow villager, but as a hero who had braved the unknown for the sake of others. They admired his courage, his determination, and above all, his kindness. As the sun began to set, casting long shadows across the village, Asher made a heartfelt promise. He vowed to continue being kind and helpful to others, to carry the lessons of his journey with him always, and to inspire others to do the same. From that day forward, Asher made a promise to himself to always be kind and helpful to others. And so, he became a beacon of kindness and generosity in his village, a shining example for all to follow. So, adventurers, that's the end of Asher's journey, but what about yours? Just as Asher journeyed through forests, mountains, and caves, you too embark on your own adventures every day. Each day is a new level, and the challenges you face are your very own creepers and zombies. But remember, you're never alone. Like Asher, you've got friends, family, and even pets to help you along the way. You know, Asher learned that the most important thing isn't to have the biggest house or the most diamonds. The true treasure lies in being kind and helpful to others. Now it's your turn to apply this lesson in your own life. You can be a hero, just like Asher. So why not start today? Help a friend with their homework, share your toys, or even just give a warm smile to someone who needs it. Remember, adventurers, in the world of Minecraft and beyond, kindness is the greatest treasure of all. Don't forget to subscribe to Asher's Day and share this video with your fellow adventurers.